Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a top tips to surviving graduation. So, as some of you will know if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, on Thursday the 16th of July I graduated from university. So, this video is going to be some top tips that I would give you to surviving your graduation day and the sort of things you're going to need to bring with you or not bring with you to help your day run a little bit more smoothly. So tip number one would be to bring safety pins. Now luckily I was told this before graduation however if I hadn't have been I would have been very disappointed. So, the graduation gown that you get is quite heavy and it's quite big and it has a tendency to slip off your shoulders. I found this out very, very quickly. I put my graduation gown on and it started to slip immediately, even before I'd moved anywhere. And I got my mum to pin it in certain places and it still didn't quite fit right. So eventually when I get to, went to get my pictures taken, a nice lady pinned it for me and it stayed perfectly in place. So I would recommend taking maybe four safety pins. I took two and it was still a little bit of a struggle. So I would recommend taking about four safety pins. Tip number two would be to take hair grips or Kirby grips. So again, as you know, you get a graduation cap or I think it's called a mortarboard officially and they have a tendency to fall off your head. So again, I had been told this fact beforehand and I made sure to take hair clips with me. I actually forgot on the day to take hair clips with me, but luckily my stepmom had some with her, so I managed to pin my cap. I was quite lucky with my cap as it fit quite sturdily anyway without the hair grips, but I did pin it just in case. And I saw a lot of people walking on stage holding onto their caps and trying to rearrange their caps and sort of really struggling with them and I feel like if you've got it pinned and you know it's secure you're not going to worry about it and you're going to enjoy yourself that little bit more at graduation. Tip number three would be to make sure you don't take too many things with you. So I would ask a parent or a friend to bring their camera and make sure that they take lots of pictures because there isn't really anywhere for you to put your things at graduation. I mean you can leave them on your chair but if valuable you don't want to leave them while you go up on stage to collect your certificate. So I took with me my purse, my phone and my uh, ticket confirmation and this was too much for me. I felt like I didn't really need my purse, I would have been okay with just my phone and my ticket confirmation because I ended up getting lots of sheets of paper and different bits and things and I ended up having to pass them off to different people and asking them to look after them for me and it was just a bit of a hassle and a bit of a stress so I would recommend limiting what you take with you to the things that you know you are definitely 100% going to need. Tip number four is to wear something comfortable especially on your feet so this tip doesn't apply so much to guys because it's a little bit easier when coming to graduation but for girls I would recommend wearing either flats or wedges rather than stilettos because they aren't very comfortable let's face it and it might be a bit of a disaster when you're climbing up the stairs to get on stage and the second thing is your dress or your outfit whatever you choose to wear make sure it's comfortable and a suitable length okay so you don't want it to be too short where people might see things you don't want them to see and you don't want it to be so long that you're going to have to keep picking it up and hobbling your way across the floor. Also if your graduation is in summer I would bear in mind that it might get very very hot in the graduation hall so wear something light and not a heavy material especially because your gown is heavy enough and you don't need any extra weight that's going to make you hot and uncomfortable. And again if you're graduating in the winter make sure you wear something warm because you don't want to be sat in the graduation hall shivering to death. The final tip is to have fun. So although I really really enjoyed my graduation day I really wish I would have stressed less. I feel like I spent most of the graduation day stressing about one thing or another whether it was the fact that my hair wasn't staying in curls or my makeup didn't feel right, my dress was uncomfortable, there was always something that I was stressing about and I wish I'd just taken the time to take a deep breath and forgotten about all of those little things. So overall I had a really good graduation day and I really really enjoyed it however there are a few things I wish I'd done differently. So if 
this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you're graduating soon or you've already graduated, I hope you have or had a really nice time. And I hope this video helps you a little bit if you're graduating in the future. So don't forget to comment down below and I'll make sure to reply. I like to reply to all of my comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.